Hi all, it's Dr. J. The program that you're looking at today is simulating the throwing of two die n times. n is initially 1,000. So if you look at the functions we're going to be using, we're going to be using a random throw, which will return a number between 1 and 6 randomly. Print counters, which will print the results of the simulation and generate data which does the counting. Uh, the main line declares the counter's array and the value of the two die, die 1 and die 2. It seeds the random number function and it initializes the, the number of times we're, we're going to simulate the throwing of the dice and it also initializes our counter array to zeros generate data, we're going to write together right now, will generate n throws of the dice. Print counters will actually print the results. <coughs> so let's write generate data together. So that would be void generate data int n and we're going to uh, do int d1, d2 for the two dice, and we're going to um, set d1 equal to first throw, so that would be ran throw. We'll look at ran throw in a second. And D2 also equal to ran throw. Got to fix that semicolon. Semicolon, there you go. So D2 also equal to ran throw. And what counter are we going to be incrementing? Well, the sum of D1 and D2 counts as a throw of the dice. So we will increment with a plus plus counters. Uh, counters is a, uh, is that global? No, we have to pass that. All right, so let's pass counters. Int. array, so let's call it counters, all right, and now let's say int c, uh, that should be sufficient, <coughs> int c, Okay, and now we're going to take C of D1 plus D2 and increment it. So if we throw a 7, we're incrementing the 7th uh, position of counters array. And that's all there is to that particular function. Ran throw simply uh, generates a random number between 1 and 6, as you can see. Print counters is a little for loop to print the results. Let's see what we get for running it for 1,000. Let's compile, hope for a clean compile, which we don't have. Okay, so it is an <coughs> error on ran throw. Oh, because I didn't put a capital T, let's fix that. Spelling counts, including capital letters. Try again. Okay, we have a clean compile. Let's run it. Uh, that's not correct, so let's see. We have a little error somewhere. Um, the question is, where is the error? Ah, 
Ah, uh, yes. What was missing is in, in the generate data, we're only doing it one time. We have to do it a thousand times, n times. So let's do a counter and i equal 1, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus. And now let's put the squigglies. have an extra right here now. So we fix that. We need a right over here. Okay. Let's try running it now. Compile and run. <coughs> ah, that looks good. So we see that sevens are thrown more than sixes and eights. We could better tell if we change n to 6,000. Because 6,000, since 7 is thrown 1 out of 6 times on average, we should have 1,000 of them. 1,000 sevens, for example. And we'll come close to it. So let's try running that one more time. 1,017, not bad. And being that this is random, if we run it again, we should get a different result. What do you know? I'm going to quit with with. 7 being exactly 1,000, which is what I want. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much. This is Dr. J saying until next time.